Hey, good morning to you. I'm John Scott. And I'm Heather Noward in, to Gen in for Jenna Lee. Yeah, John, we'll be working on Sunday. Of John and I we will be will. hosting from 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Right here. So join us here. We've got a ton of political coverage it's this be weekend. All right. I want to ask you about this trial judge. There was an initial trial judge who sided with the parents. And that's what makes it, uh, in my opinion, a good case for the plaintiffs. And, I, and they're going to appeal. In the U.K., and there have been, had been, 34 detectives who have been working on this. A closure and find her yeah. yes. alive. Uh, Richard St. John, th excuse me, St. Paul. Thank you for coming in. And Keisha Heaven, thank you as well. Thank you. John, oh, when you're well. called Baby Doll, then mm. you know you're in trouble with a couple ladies. Yeah, well, that could be. <laughs> They're great. All right, good conversation. We're coming up. Rick Grinnell uh, mm -hmm. on the president's trip to Saudi Arabia. Chris Wallace with us on domestic politics. See you back here then. Outnumbered starts right now. Republican primary race and a shakeup that could potentially alienate the front runner's base. Send the seven Grammy Awards. He performed at Super Bowl back in 2007 and sold more than 100 million albums. Stunning news yeah. out of Minneapolis. Prince Rogers Nelson, known to the world as Prince.